DLB Network, a place for gamers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're back. Um, this video is going to show you guys how to install a new hard drive in a 15 inch, 13 inch, 17 inch. It's really the same for all of them, but basically the uh, 2009 version of the MacBook Pro line. This video is going to show you how to install a brand new hard drive in those devices. Now, first and foremost, the it is very is very important that you guys take safety precaution so make sure that you're doing this on a on a flat non static area it can cuz i'm telling you you don't want to be working inside of any electronic with a static environment around you so make sure it's nice smooth clean stable you know wood table glass table just something that won't catch any static so that's that's first and foremost Second, you're going to need a mini screwdriver. I'm not sure if you guys can see it that well, but you're going to need a mini screwdriver. Um, you're going to need what's in this package, which I haven't uh, opened yet. I've been waiting for this moment right here. Um, this is called a, a torque screwdriver. These are not sold in stores um, because they're mainly for manufacturers, warehouses, uh, PC, um, you know, fix it, store stuff like that because they're the main people that need a tool like this. This isn't like your mainstream tool, like a uh, screwdriver and such. So, this is what it looks like. If you can see, the edges are kind of like in a square box shape. I got this off of eBay. Um, I'll put the link on the side uh, so you guys can see where I picked it up from. I got it on eBay for two ninety nine, so three bucks not bad at all um, and of course you're gonna want to get the hard drive which is also something I haven't opened yet I waited specifically for this video so let me go ahead and open this up um, now if you're dealing with the MacBook Pro line the 2009 uh, edition you're gonna want to make sure it's a 2.5 inch laptop hard drive um, with the uh, SATA plug-in. So a, a, a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. That's S-A-T-A. -A. So, uh, nothing else in there. So that's the hard drive right here. They got a package thing real right well. So there it is. This is a Western Digital Scorpion Blue. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this hard drive, so that's what made me want to pick this specific hard drive up. Um, so we're going to see. And last but not least, the most important piece to the puzzle is your MacBook Pro 13, 15, or 17 inch. So. MacBook Pro is still in the case, haven't turned it on yet, because I didn't want to turn it on and then, you know, have to, uh, I was reading some things on the net and it was saying that you basically need to turn off your your laptop for a long, for about 24 hours, um, to be on the safe side is 24 hours, before you want to flip it over and start unscrewing and messing with anything on the inside, so, you, you know, you don't want to get shot, because even though these, these devices are very small, they still carry a lot of power and uh, getting shot by one of these is definitely not something you want to happen. So there's four screws right here on the top that you're going to want to unscrew. There's one on each side and then there's four more in the bottom. So let's go ahead and get into this book. So um, I was having a bit of an issue. I had to pause the video real quick. Uh, so I didn't have a mini screwdriver, but I do have a mini flathead. And it works, I tested it out, so it works. So we're gonna go ahead and unscrew the top ones.
pretty thin piece of aluminum. Very light. So we have the battery right here. We have the hard drive right here. Memory right here. So the very purpose of this video is for the hard drive. So let's go ahead and open up our new hard drive. This is it, the 500 gig uh, Western Digital hard drive. So now I, one thing that I must point out is once again the simplicity of getting this hard drive out right here. I've uh, took laptop hard drives out before and it's never really been as simple as this is right here. There's a little flap right here. You just pull up on the flap. Well, I have to unscrew it first. but you pull up on this flat and it's all ready to go. It's ready to come out. Now one thing I must say is once you unscrew your uh, hard drive, or excuse me, your laptop for the first time, screw those screws back on lightly because they do not need to be on as tight as they actually have them placed on here. So, there's this little, um, this little bridge that they have screwed in next to the hard drive that keeps it in, keeps it nice and tight. So the hard drive's not sliding around all over the place. And that's this little piece right here. That keeps the hard drive nice and tight in there so it's not moving around and shaking. So you have to screw that piece out first, then the hard drive is free for you to pull out. So there's a little what's called a SATA connection, the serial ATA. Just go ahead and jiggle that out like that. And then the little flap that they have for it to make it nice and easy for you to take the hard drive out. You want to go ahead and peel that off of this one and put it on the new hard drive. So that way if you ever swap out the new hard drive, you could just lift up and it's out of there. So I'm going to put that right on the side here. Now this is where the torque screwdriver Oh, okay, I thought I dropped something. So this is where the torque screwdriver, the screwdriver that you need to order offline, this is where this bad boy comes into play. Because on the old hard drive, there's these little screws right here, these little nubs right here, that you have to take off with this guy. And these little brackets that you have to unscrew are some, they're uh, little brackets that keep the hard drive, once again, stable and in place so it's not shaking around or you don't hear a rattling you know in the hard drive or inside the laptop should I say when it's performing you know a high task so okay so now we have the 500 gigabyte hard drive all ready to go I got the nubs on both sides of the hard drive now we're going to install this back into the Mac Pro So first we're going to attach this part to the front, make sure it's nice and secure and tight in there. Then we're going to lay the hard drive back in place. There are these little, there's these little orange nubs in there that the hard drive needs to sit into once again so it's nice and secure. Then we have our bracket right here that needs to go back in so that can keep the hard drive in place. So we got the bag back on, we got the 500 gig, half a terabyte, and the new 15 inch MacBook Pro. Once again, this is a 2.66 gigahertz hard drive, or excuse me, 2.66 gigahertz 
um, 15 inch display. Uh, this is these are the models with the new SD slot on the side. Got the headphone jack and all that good stuff. Yeah. So um, finally getting ready to pop this thing open. I got to reformat the hard drive, so it's going to be a little while before I can even start to play with it. So uh, once again, I'm gonna start doing. Um, a lot more videos, we're going to start doing a lot of just crazy stuff. I'm not going to explain all that right now. Make sure you guys check out the blog, dlb-network.com. Make sure you guys, all the information is going to be on the side. So make sure you guys are checking the side right there. All the information is over there. So thank you guys for tuning in. Another video coming soon. See you then. Peace.